Well, hello, friends. It's me yet again. Hmm. It's been a while since uh, I've been out here. Hmm. And it's been a while since uh, I've been here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and run that intro and let's get into it. Good morning. Oh my goodness, it's cold. It's very cold today. Mm. It did it. <clears throat> it got down to freezing last night. And, uh, whew, yeah, it's pretty chilly. So, there is, there's real frost on the grass. I don't know how well you can see it, but that grass is frosty. And there are lots and lots and lots of chores to do in the garden. A lot. Now, currently it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is the middle of October. And uh, the plants in the garden are starting to go to sleep. They're trying, they're, they're, they are, they're, 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 they're at the end of their lifespan, most of them. And a lot of them just, well, they're, they're trying to go to sleep. Which means fall is here. Which also means there's a lot of work to be done. <laughs> uh, Got to get prepared for next year. Oh boy. All right, so I'm standing next to my first lady tomato that uh, I bought from the store. I paid... Uh, I think it was like three dollars and twenty nine cents or something for this plant. I got my money's worth, I think, out of it. It has a ton of green tomatoes on it, and we have harvested pounds. Well, there's some red ones in there too. Harvested pounds and pounds and pounds of uh, nice red tomatoes. I'm definitely gonna grow this guy again next year. I'm hoping to be able to uh, take some clones off of it. Maybe it survives today, and then tonight when I get home, I can take some cuttings and try to clone it, and maybe grow it over winter in the uh, in the garage, or if I ever get it done <laughs> back there, the greenhouse. Um, maybe, hopefully. If not, I'll have to buy some more next year. That's all there is to it. Uh, if I'm not looking directly at the camera lens, I greatly apologize. I've got a different camera with me today, but. Anywho, uh, broccoli. We just don't eat it. Uh, not, not the, I'll take that back. We eat broccoli salad. We just don't eat enough of it to grow it in the garden for broccoli. So I don't know if we're going to do that again. And I have to say this year was amazing for broccoli. It grew very, very well. And got a great big head, which is totally weird for us because normally broccoli, we get little teeny broccoli, 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 let's, I don't know what you would call them, little pieces of broccoli, and that's about it. Nothing big. And we got a really big uh, broccoli um, head thing on there this year. So, way to go. All right. So, the green beans. I've never grown green beans before in the gardens. First time ever. We don't normally eat green beans. We don't go to the, when we go to the grocery store. We don't buy green beans or anything like that. So I don't know what I was thinking. Honestly, I planted way too many, way too dense, and of course on the wrong trellis system. I just put it here on this uh, two by was it two by three fencing. Never gonna do that again. Uh, one heck of a yield we just never harvested them and never ate them because we just don't like them I'm starting to see a trend here okay now on to the courgettes or in the states we call them zucchinis <laughs> I like courgettes better it just sounds better uh, these guys I harvested a couple of them uh, and we grated them up and put them in freezer bags so that in the fall, <laughs> it's almost that now, uh, we can make zucchini bread. They got big very fast 
and uh, we got a lot out of it. However, uh, what did I plant? Nine plants? Nine, I think there was nine? No. One, two, three, four, five. There's, there's five. Five plants. Four too many. I think one plant next year of zucchini is plenty. Um, yeah, it's plenty. Sorry for the shakiness. It's cold. All right, you guys. This is my prize right here. This is the thing I've been trying to grow for years. And for a lot of you who've been on my channel or been around a long time, you'll know. The Carolina Reaper is definitely something that I've been trying to grow. Man, I got a lot of buds on it. I've got no fruit, which has been my problem for the last couple of years. So I'm going to try to overwinter this. Maybe I'll come home tonight and up, uproot it and put it in a pot and try to make it so that I can at least grow it next year. I mean, it's now fully established and it's got fruit on it. Maybe I can overwinter it in the garage and maybe it'll keep growing and put fruit on this summer or this summer. No, wait. Winter's after this, isn't it? Yeah, this winter. Well, the kale, yeah, it did good, but I grew it primarily for the chickens, not for us. Now that, that's a marigold. Uh, that was a self-seeded marigold, if I remember correctly. And uh, it did great. All these uh, dead seed, or these dead uh, flower heads, they all got seeds in them, and I'm gonna pull them all. I'm gonna put them in a bag after I dry it, make sure they're dry. I'm gonna use them for next year. We'll have a lot of these guys. They help keep the bugs away too. And they smell like summer. The cabbage looks good. I think this is like head number four that we've caught in so far. And of course, more dinosaur kale. So, I'm standing right next to a bunch of cucumber plants here. And we did get a few cucumbers. However, I'm not growing them like this again. If I do cucumbers again, it'll be probably in the greenhouse and it'll probably be on a trellis like those tomatoes. Because uh, if it didn't work for the tomatoes, maybe, just maybe, it'll work for the cucumbers. All right, so on the ground underneath the, the greenhouse, it's not really a greenhouse, it's more of just a frame. Um, I've got beans and all kinds of stuff growing. Unfortunately, the beans aren't going to produce now and the radishes that are there need to be pulled. Well, it was worth a try. See, here in the Inland Northwest, it's pretty simple. Our uh, growing season is really short and uh, it just doesn't work for some stuff like multiple crops. We, we get one crop of something. We, I've tried so many times to do a second run of something. Like radishes they did okay, but the beans, they just take too long. And the Brussels sprouts, although they have a lot of foliage on them, I don't know y'all, I think, I think I'll have to try them again next year. So we did sift some compost and we got the compost in some barrels. Got more to do, of course, that'll be next week. But for now, we're doing great. And as you can see, I, started the process of moving the compost and that is going to be where the greenhouse goes we also on the ground down there if if you can see that but bought some more fence slats to go right there on the fence because that's where the greenhouse is going right there that'll be nice so <clears throat> i don't know if you noticed but i'm in the process of revamping my channel not there yet, but I'm getting there. Soon I'm gonna have a, um, a link to uh, a place where you can buy me 
a cup of coffee, uh, which I can use those funds for doing you know, little projects and stuff around here. I'm also uh, working on Instagram and getting an Instagram page set up. And I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to revamp my Facebook group. So I'm trying to get into the 21st century or 22nd century or 23rd century or whatever it is. But there's going to be some changes. Like right now, I've got you in my hand. That will be coming to an end and you'll be on a tripod. Also, oh, those are pretty. I got to show you this. I can see I get sidetracked. <clears throat> also, uh, not only will you be on a tripod, but there'll be a microphone attached to me so I can walk away from the camera. So I do have plans for things to happen. Um, it's just going to take a little bit more time, but we're in the works. Oh, and check out these. That really filled out. Isn't that a pretty bed? Do you remember me putting that in? That used to be an old sink in our basement. Just think outside the box. Eventually it all comes together if you work hard enough at it. Oh, Babs, look at my feet. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'm gonna deal with that forever. Oh, and some fall flowers. We oh, don't mind the mess in the background. Ugh. All right, y'all. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. So definitely, if you want to see this kind of thing more often, you got to subscribe and you got to ring that bell. If you can leave a comment down below, uh, something maybe you want me to talk about or whatever's on your mind, tell me what you're doing this time of year. Um, whatever. And uh, yeah, thumbs up. All right. Uh, until next time, y'all. Bye for now. <laughs>